audio tracks in OBS. In this video, I'm gonna explain audio tracks in OBS and show you how to assign different audio sources to different tracks so that when you take your recorded video, you can choose what audio to use and what audio to remove. There's also some bonus content in this video, so make sure you watch the whole thing to get the bonus at the end. Also in this video, I'm gonna try something new. If you subscribe and you comment within the first hour of this video being published, I will reply to your comment guaranteed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and I'll answer your question. All right, so I got my OBS here and uh, I've got three audio sources already attached to it. Uh, and of course you do that by going into settings, audio, and then assigning devices to the various desktop audio and microphone uh, dropdowns. I'm using virtual cables, so if you're curious about how that works to separate out the different uh, desktop audio sources into individual inputs. Uh, I've got a video that you can check out on that. But anyways, you can see I've got my Yeti mic in here already. And then I've got two audio sources here. First one is my Spotify. And we'll preview that audio real quick. All right, so we've got that going. And uh, just to stay organized, we'll rename that. I'll just click the gear and I'll add spot to the name of the input, and there we go. Now it's easy to tell which is which. And then I've also got Firefox in here, and this is brought in as another virtual cable assigned to that browser. And I pulled up another video that I made recently about how to remove music from Twitch VODs. This is using a really awesome new feature that OBS came out with. Uh, definitely check that video out at the end, and maybe I'll preview how that works at the end of this video, so stick around. But we'll check the audio on that one too. I'm gonna show you how to remove the music from your Twitch VOD. All right, and we'll rename that to stay organized too. I'll just give it FF for Firefox. Now you don't have to have all these things visually in the scene for this to work. You just need the actual audio devices assigned in OBS. So that's in settings and then audio and you've added them here. Okay, so the place that you go in the settings menu is output. In the output tab, if you're using advanced mode for the output mode, there's a recording tab. And in there, you're looking for audio track with these checkboxes. OBS will allow up to six tracks. So this is where you ask yourself that first question. How many tracks do I want to have in the video? So you need to know what your goal is. Or you can just say, I've got three devices, so I want three tracks with different mixes. Knowing what the end objective is, is just gonna make this simpler. Since I've got three devices, I wanna make three tracks. And we can have one track that has all three devices in it, maybe one track that only has my voice and the music, and then another track that only has my voice. So we'll call it three. So check tracks one, two, and three, and apply an okay. So now we've decided how many tracks are gonna be in the video that gets output. Now we need to assign devices to those tracks to create the different mixes that we want in each track. What do I want in track one? What do I want in track two or don't want in track two? And same for track three. So where do you go to do that? In the audio mixer area, just right click anywhere in that open space and click advanced audio properties. Now in here, you're gonna see your devices and the labels that you added, right? So staying organized helps. Spotify, Firefox, there's my mic. And I'm gonna to go to the side and expand it just so I can see all six tracks here. Now each row shows which tracks that device will be included in. So we've got Spotify here. And since they're all checked, Spotify would be added in all of these tracks. Same thing with Firefox currently and my microphone. You can remove things from those tracks by just unchecking those boxes. Now this video capture device here is actually my webcam, which has an internal microphone. Uh, we don't want that in any of our tracks, so I'm just gonna uncheck it all the way across. Okay, so we want our microphone, let's say in all the tracks, right? So we're just gonna leave it checked all the way, one through six. Now what if in track two, I want my voice and Spotify, but not Firefox? Well, then you just go to Firefox, which is the second row here, Go to track two and uncheck it. And now it's not gonna be in track two. And for track three, let's say it's only my voice. No Firefox, no Spotify, nothing. So we'll go along the way to column three and we'll remove Spotify and Firefox. And now the only thing in track three is my microphone. 
Now remember, we didn't choose tracks four, five, and six in the settings, and so it doesn't really matter what's happening here in four, five, and six, because those tracks won't be added to the recording. But remember, you can choose however many tracks you want, and you can create all kinds of mixes. So we'll close that. All right, now here's the test. We're going to hit start recording. I'm gonna play all the audio at the same time, Firefox and Spotify. I'm also gonna to count to 10 on my microphone here. And uh, then we're gonna pull it into a video editing software and we're gonna see all those tracks split out. So I'm gonna hit start recording and here we go. Add Spotify. And I'm gonna start playing my video. I'm gonna show you and then I'll count to, to ten. Remove one, two, the music three, four, five, Twitch bot, six, seven, without having to edit eight, afterwards. You nine, literally ten. go offline, and that's it. I don't know why you would want to do that in whatever it is that you're doing, but it's for demonstration purposes. I want to show you how these tracks get divided in the video. So we've done that. Now let's bring it into video editing software, and I will show you how it works. All right. So now we've got uh, Adobe Premiere open, but obviously any video editing software that uh, will show multiple tracks will work for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the video that was output in our multi-track setup OBS situation. And here it is. As I dragged it over the timeline, you can see that there are three audio tracks here. Now, if I just hit play on this, it's gonna play all three because they are all present at the same time. And so that's gonna sound terrible. So what we'll do is we'll mute the tracks that we don't wanna hear so we're isolating just the one track and then let's preview it. So I picked a track here first, which I believe has everything. It's got my voice, it's got Spotify, and it's got Firefox. Here we go. I'm gonna show you. And then I'll count to, to 10. Remove one, two, three, four, five, Twitch six, bot. seven, Without having to edit eight, afterwards, you nine, ten. Go offline. Okay, so that was the track that had absolutely everything in it. Now we're gonna isolate the second track. Now this track should just be my voice through the microphone and Spotify with no Firefox and I'm gonna start playing my video. And then I'll count to 10. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that worked. You didn't hear the YouTube video playing on Firefox in that track. So now let's go to the last track, which only has my voice, no Spotify, no Firefox. And I'm gonna start playing my video. And then I'll count to 10. One, two, three, four, five. And there you go. Now we have our third track, only has my voice, no Spotify, no Firefox. So you can either mute them and then export like that, or you can literally just delete the tracks. In Premiere, you'd do that by right-clicking and unlinking. And that way you can individually select the tracks and delete them if you like. Another common way of doing this would actually be to have only one audio source per track. So track one could be only your microphone, Track two could be only Spotify, and then track three could be only Firefox. And then that way when you're editing, you can control those individual things without them being mixed in with other stuff. Okay, bonus time. I'm gonna show you about Twitch VOD tracks. And you just go to settings. And if your streaming service is Twitch, then when you go to the output tab and you're in the streaming section, you will see Twitch VOD track. And if you wanna learn how to use that, to automatically remove your music uh, so that you can stream yourself and your music to your live audience, but then when the video is saved after the stream is over, the music is automatically removed from that, then make sure you watch this video right here. Uh, you can also learn about virtual audio cables with this video. And if you subscribe to my channel here on YouTube right now and leave a comment, within the first hour of this video going live, I will reply. So until next time, thanks guys. I'll see you around.